Hi, I'm Hilary Victoria and welcome back to my crime and policing channel. Welcome to today's short video and we are looking at transference of evidence. This is fascinating and it's my favourite subject when it comes to crime and policing. Now, did you know that every contact you make leaves a trace? Everywhere you've been, everywhere you go, everything you do, you are leaving a little bit of yourself behind and that bears a silent witness to what you've done and where you've been. And that was discussed by Edmund Lockhart a long, long time ago, like over a hundred years ago. Now, let's put this into context. Let's say I went to co-op, the shop across the street, and I did earlier to get some lemonade for my daughter. She's having a sleepover. If you can hear screams, it's sleepover. Nothing weird is happening. I'm not, there's not some kind of murders going on, just girls. So I bought some lemonade. And let's say I'm in the shop and I'm picking up this lemonade and having a look. Mm, how much sugar's in this? I don't want to be up all night. I'm leaving bits of myself all over this. Yes, I know it's a candle. So I'm leaving thumbprints all over it. You see my thumbprint there, don't clone me. So yes, I'm leaving bits of myself everywhere I go. Now that shop is full of my DNA. It's got thumbprints on there. It's got hair. It's got fibres from my clothes. I've got a, like a big North Face coat. It's got the fibres from there. I can definitely place myself in that shop if I wanted to. Now, there's also things called primary, secondary and tertiary transfers. Now, let's look at it in relation to a crime scene. Let's say I'm, I kill someone and I get one of their hairs on me, on my shoulder, for whatever reason, right? I've got their hair on me. That's a primary transfer. Now we go on. I'm sitting on the bus to go home. Just me, just killed someone. I haven't, by the way. And I sit next to you and your shoulder touches my shoulder, and that evidence goes on to you, that is a secondary transfer. So that's a secondary transfer of evidence. So I've passed that along me. Now you go home, you sit in your car, and your the hair from me passes onto your car seat, for whatever reason you've been in a bus and now you're in a car, that's a tertiary transfer, and so on. So this evidence is going like this. Now the quality of the evidence is getting less as it passes through, obviously. But that's just a little discussion about what evidence transfer is. So just be careful when you're out and about. Um, hopefully none of you are committing crimes. And just be wary that everywhere you go, everything you touch and everything you see and do, you're leaving a little bit of yourself behind. And that can be the same in relation to digital as well. So your digital footprint, everything you look at on the internet, you're leaving a little trace of where you've been. So yeah, just sort of scare you with a little bit of trace evidence. Have a nice evening, stay safe, look after yourselves, and please don't commit any crimes.